So when I get to the lake in the winter and run down the lake, I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna start. I'm looking for bait oriented fish for the most part. So I'm looking at where the bait's gonna suspend. And I think that's gonna be near the channel in general. So I'm looking at channel swings, points with drops near the channel or humps that run down the side of the channel. So I'll look at my map while I'm running down the lake. I look for channel swings or humps with drops near the channel, like right here at the mouth of this creek. You can see there's a channel swing going into the creek and you actually have these little flat points that drop real steep off into the channel right at the mouth of the creek in a channel swing. That could be a good early winter spot where the bait's moving out of the creek, it's got a good channel swing. And then outside of some of the channel swings like that, you just got your deep main lake water. And with that, I look at like humps and points and things that drop off into the channel. Like right here, we have a ridge that runs right parallel down the channel with drop out here into the deepest water in the reservoir. So that's kind of the type of places I'm looking at. I'm looking at things that drop quick into some of the deeper, deeper water. So seasonal fishing wise, like in the spring, you've got pre-spawn fish and you're moving towards spawning areas, fish are staging on secondary points, channel swings, whatever it may be you're targeting, the fish are working towards something. Well, winter fishing, which is what we got now, it's a little bit different because the fish aren't necessarily moving towards, like they're not getting ready to spawn. It's not pre-spawn yet, it's kind of early winter. So when I'm picking, looking for areas to fish, picking what, like what I'm looking for on the lake, I'm actually looking for like bait. That's what the fish are looking for in the winter. They're looking for shad, crawfish, whatever you think the main forage is where you're fishing. So I'm looking for channel swings with rock. If I'm thinking like it's a, the fish are feeding on crawfish heavily. If it's a shad heavy lake, you're looking for like near deep water, channel, channel drops on like uh, long bars or maybe a point that runs out and drops into the channel. Anywhere the fish can corral the bait up. It's more a bait game when you're talking winter fishing. There's one. He's not dry, but he hit it hard. A little bit one again. Stop. See if we can not get hooked this morning. Little spot. In the winter, when you're targeting fish heavy on bait fish, threadfin shad, things like that, one of my favorite ways to locate fish is a crankbait. I mean, it's uh, enough fish stay in that depth range that you can target them with a crankbait. Some lakes, they get a little deeper. You gotta switch to your jigging spoons, underspins, things like that. But I love crankbaits for covering water. This is just a dual hardcore shad. I mean, it's a, this is a larger bait. It's a 75, so it gets about 12 foot deep and I can just run down some of these drops, channel points, things like that, and cover water. There may be better ways to catch them, but you can find them on this bait. It's a good covering the water bait. 